Tom, thanks. The I-30 corridor through the heart of Little Rock set for another major shutdown this weekend as the 30 crossing project moves a bit closer to getting that first phase wrapped up. While many of us will just have to avoid the area or find another way around, there's one group who really needs to get creative once the roadway shuts down. THV 11 Dean Russell joins us live from the I-30 River Bridge with how emergency services are gearing up for the shutdown. Ian. Yeah, well, Faith, Rolly, detours are always frustrating, but for our first responders, it's kind of the name of the game for them. And at MEMS, officials tell me they're ready for this weekend interstate shutdown. We all try to find a way around the detours, all to save some time. But for the first responders at MEMS, it's not just a goal. It's part of the job. So the highway system is very important to us. Uh, it lets us access our emergencies very quickly because when a call comes in 30, they need to get to an emergency fast the only problem what happens when the road you need to take shuts down it can be difficult when when the i-30 river bridge closes this is not the first time that we've experienced this with the highway department but john woodward the operations manager for mems doesn't say that with any disrespect they're used to the detours even when it's something as big as the bridge well, it can be difficult at times uh, but with the communication that we have with the highway department we work around it. Communication. Uh, this is a key component to this entire project. Something Dave Parker, spokesperson for RDOT, says they've got to have. Emergencies are still going to happen whether the bridge is open or not. If there happens to be an emergency, for example, and, and an ambulance needs to get from North Little Rock over to Interstate 30 West, we have that cleared out. We will have a way for that to happen. And while the bridge will only be closed off for a couple days, Woodward says they've already got a plan. Whenever we have these road closures, we're able to more specifically put ambulances where they need to be for best access. Because even when a detour messes with the plan, nothing's going to stop MEMS from doing what they do. So no matter if the bridge is closed or not, we can always get to your address. Because in the end, this benefits them too. It does help us in a long haul once it's finished. Uh, smoother roads, better roads, better arteries to go through the middle of our system uh, so that we can respond to emer emergencies quicker. Now, as far as this bridge shutdown, what do you need to know here? Well, the bridge will shut down at 10 p.m. on Friday evening and will reopen early Monday morning. Parker tells me that depending on the weather and depending on how fast they work, they may reopen it a little bit earlier, but it's probably a safe bet to bet on early Monday morning. Faith Rowley will send it back to you. Ian, thank you so much. Cross fingers, they get it done early.